what we find um, is when we paint a mural on a location that they're less likely to come uh, back and vandalize it with graffiti. Now it's 80% that they don't come back and revandalize. Uh, this is one of our 20% locations, so we check it often. And if it's been vandalized a lot, then we'll come out and we'll schedule a, a paint out. And uh, this year, um, in correlation with the uh, North Texas uh, Aviation Centennial, we're dedicating all of our uh, murals to aviation history of Fort Worth. We're a collaborative effort between uh, three of the museums here locally, the Fort Worth Air and Space Museum, uh, Veterans Memorial Air Park, and the B-36 Peacemaker Museum to uh, help build awareness of the aviation history and heritage here in the local area and hopefully to inspire some kids towards careers in aviation or aerospace. The graffiti thing was, was part of our outreach to the community to help us uh, do the celebration for the year. We just told her we could help with, uh, with artists and help promote her program and uh, so she decided that she wanted to do all the murals this year with an aviation theme which is, which is great for us in terms of building the awareness within the community. Today um, it's going to be TCU Leaps and we're going to have about a hundred. This is our second year that they've worked with us. For today's uh, we're going to be using some things that, uh, uh, that some of the cadets with the Civil Air Patrol uh, put together. Uh, so they're, uh, our, they're their conceptions, uh, kids' conceptions of some of the aviation heritage things that have taken place in the last year. The only difference between art and graffiti is permission.